about the disposable items you use every day. A cereal box at breakfast, a drink in a plastic bottle at lunch, a can of diced tomatoes while making dinner. Even after they're used, these items have the potential to create jobs in our community, reduce environmental impact, and boost the local economy through recycling programs. Recycling allows us to recoup waste products, giving them a new purpose and reducing our reliance on virgin raw materials in production. In fact, the most recent study by the West Michigan Sustainable Business Forum showed that West Michigan could return $368 million to our local economy through regional recycling efforts. So, recyclables are worth recycling. But what happens to your recyclables when you're done with them? Let's take a look. The journey begins at the end of your driveway with a mixture of empty, clean, and dry recyclables in your eco-cart, including cans, broken down boxes, plastic containers, and more. Every two weeks, our dedicated recycling trucks visit your neighborhood to collect your recyclables, transporting them to our local sorting facility. Using both manual and machine sorting, workers at the facility sort incoming materials into specific categories like plastic type, metal type, paper, and corrugated cardboard. The materials are then tightly bound into bales and stored until they're shipped out for further processing. What happens next depends on the material. After leaving the sorting facility, plastics go to a local recycling processor where they're ground into tiny pieces. The result, fittingly called regrind, is then cleaned to remove residual paper, dust, and other contaminants. The regrind can be sold and reformed into small pellets. Manufacturers can use these pellets in creating injection molded products like your EcoCart or other applications like new plastic bottles, reusable bags, park benches, and more. Now let's talk metal. When recycled metal arrives for sorting, it's separated into magnetic and non-magnetic materials using a large rotating magnet before being baled. Items like soup cans have a high iron content and will be attracted to the magnet while aluminum beverage containers will pass through. After sorting, the materials are baled, and then local recycling companies pick up the materials for processing to further sort the non-magnetic metals and remove any non-metals. The recycling company will sell specific metal types to foundries that need them. The metal is then melted down and otherwise processed for reuse in a wide range of new consumer goods. Last, let's learn about paper. Clean paper, cardboard, and corrugated materials make for great recyclables. At the sorting facility, corrugated and paper are separated and baled. Then, they're shipped to paper mills around the Midwest. The bundles are broken down into fibers and repurposed into recycled paper goods, like paper towels, printing paper, and corrugated packaging. Through recycling, even the products we don't use anymore provide incredible value supporting new industry and job growth in our community, and extending our use of natural resources. So the next time you finish off a gallon of milk or flatten a shipping box, make sure it makes its way into your eco-cart. Its life is only just beginning. To learn more about recycling in Holland, visit us online at RecycleHolland.com.